Now we're going to explore the idea of working with variables. As you know that variables are the placeholders that can change their values during the execution of the program. Um, but they can only hold one value at any given time. Variables are defined with a data type, which uh, pretty much tells the compiler as to how much uh, memory to allocate and what kind of values to be represented inside a variable. So in this class, we would like to explore that idea. So for that very purpose, I would like to create a class over here. And I would like to call it demo variables one public static void main finish. Now I would like to restructure my class and I would like to introduce some variables in the main. The basic syntax of introducing a variable is always data type space followed by a variable name semicolon or an additional, additional syntax to do the same thing could be variable name equals to an optional value. Statement above would be called a variable declaration which is line number six in my case and line number seven is the initialization in the declaration because initialization is pretty much the process of assigning the first value to your variable. So these two um, statements are just a basic syntax. As far as the naming conventions for the variables go, we follow camel casing, which is if the, uh, if the variable's name has more than one word, uh, then the first word is all lowercase, but each consecutive word only starts with an uppercase letter. So that's the uh, writing convention in Java. But if you don't follow that convention, Java compiler won't yell back at, yell back at you, so we're gonna still accept it. So let's say if we would like to declare our variable, um, of an integer type, we will say int followed by a name of a variable, let's say h. Let's declare another variable uh, of integer type, integer h2. Now notice this is what camel casing is. If Since I have more than one word, I've capitalized the first letter of the second word, but the first word is all in lowercase. And since I had only one word in, on line number eight when I created my name of the variable, um, it follows the basic convention of writing in all lowercase. So int h2 equals to 40. On line number eight, I only declared the variable. I did not initialize it. But that doesn't mean I cannot assign it a value at a later stage. When you do, do not initialize a variable in Java, uh, by default it gets a value of zero, but now I can initialize it saying h equals to 50. So this statement would be called initialization in declaration. And this is called just uh, initialization and this is called just declaration. Now in order to display these variables back onto the screen, we follow the same old system.out.println variable age contains. Now notice the use of the plus sign over here. Plus sign in Java can be used as a concatenation operator. By concatenation operator we mean it joins a string with another string or it joins a string with a non-string. The resultant is a string, so uh, whenever I would like to display the variable or value, I must always write it outside of the double quotes. Writing the value of the variable inside the double quotes does not pulls out the variable's value, just rather displays it as a string. Uh, just to demonstrate that, I would like to write another line of text here, and I would like to put age in the double quotes, just so that you can see the difference. And also, I would like to copy paste the line here to display age 2. Now just to demonstrate that uh, the names of the variables could also be a combination of alphanumeric entities, so let me call this age 3 equals to 33. Just so that you can see that the names of uh, 
the variables could be alphanumeric. The only limitations to the names of the variables is that the variable names uh, cannot have a space, they cannot start with a number, uh, they cannot start with any special character but an underscore. Usually we would start them with an alphabet, um, lowercase, um, uppercase alphabets could also be used. But in this program, four lines of outputs will be generated. The first line of output will display the age, that is 50. The second line of output will just simply say variable age contains and we're going to actually display, display age, age on the screen, not its value because it's written inside the double quotes. And the third line we're going to display uh, variable age2 contains and the value of age2 which is 40. And the last one we're going to display age3 which is 33. So let me save this and execute this. And down here you can see the output. As you can see, it says variable age contains 50. That's the age. Variable age contains age because I wrote age inside the body of the double quotes. Just to demonstrate that the variables must be written outside of the double quotes if you want their value to be extracted and you do not want them to be displayed as a literal string. Because whatever you type in double quotes just simply gets displayed as it is. So in this brief example, what we've explored is how you can declare integer variables, how you can assign them values at the time of declaration, and how you can assign them values at a later stage. And the same rule is applied to any other variable um, that you may declare of any other data type. As you have learned in, the, in Java that we have several data types um, that may include integer, float, double, byte, boolean, character. It doesn't matter which data type you go with, the format will always be the same. Thank you for watching this tutorial.